Welcome back to Let's Co-op Space Quest 2 with people. Yo. We have, we have Frieza, Anstika, and Brute. I'm last this time. Yep. Well, yeah. It's only fair. <laughs> it is, it's only fair. Anstika's never been last. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I haven't. <laughs> not, not in Space Quest. <laughs> <laughs> and now Thera finally, and on this day Thera finally snapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sigh, that wasn't a sigh. That was just all the steam escaping her ears and her brain broke. Okay, let's see. You are on a landing platform. A shuttle sits quietly nearby. You see lush growth all around. Good shuttle. Mike, you trying to steal It looks just like a shuttle that brought you here. Yeah, <laughs> and is he trying to... Too shy. That does not compute. <laughs> is he trying to talk to the shuttle? An idiot. Well, yeah, because they were saying how you could voice the ship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you recall from when you landed, the enemy hatch being on the rear, rear left of the shuttle. Well, yeah, you'll have to move a little. Okay. I wonder if I could he fall off. To steal Probably. Ship. This is Sierra. He's trying to, he's ah! trying to steal. Oh God. <laughs> he's trying to steal Mike As and I. That's surprising at this point. You're still prone to acts typical of the mentally absent. You showed this last time. <laughs> Did I? But, yeah. I, I, don't I don't know, but... I've fallen anyway. off so many things, I... Anyway, okay, so Just we can't fall... i off too much. Let's see, enter... I've fallen off so many things, LP Thera 2014. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over here? Enter shuttle. Come on. Have you tried opening the shuttle? The or rear left the of the. Sh I am on the rear left of the shuttle. You have, you have to open the door first. <laughs> I'm there, you piece of crap. Do a little jig. Come that. Okay. On. No, you have to be on this. <laughs> you have to be on this pixel. <laughs> Adventure games! Don't you just love them? What the hell? <laughs> Let's see. The, the shuttle is facing a different way. Is it possible that the left's on the other yeah, side? Yeah, it, it might be talking about the actual shuttle's rear left part. As in, because it's facing the opposite direction than you are, so it might be on that. Alright, I'm on the other side. Perspective and all that. What the? Did you just break it? I think the game broke. There's the... <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay. I try to help and this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well. It made the little noise when you fall and then it just kind of sat there. And this is how Roger <laughs> finally died. <laughs> Yeah. He couldn't figure out how to get into a goddamn shuttle. Shuttle. That's why he died. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic, but somehow fitting. I know. I, I don't know. Is the shuttle facing Can't forward? Can't you just walk over to the shuttle entrance? <laughs> and this is why point and click is better. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>, what? <clears throat> I might have to edit this a little bit. <laughs> uh, the commander would know how to get into the shuttle. The commander would have gotten into the shuttle and had snacks ready by the time we <laughs> I, 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 I will um, meditate on this to see if there's uh, some special trick to this. Okay. It's opening the shuttle. How hard? It, it is facing forward, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So the rear left isn't... Okay. Yeah, uh, the perspective. Rear... The rear left would be like right here. I figured it might be facing the opposite way for some reason. Perspective. Oh, there we go. You open the hatch. Dun, da, da, da. Jeez. <laughs> Took that idiot ten minutes to open the hatch. Why? Roger looks very, very manly right now. <laughs> you are inside the shuttle cockpit. There is an instrument panel before you. Between your legs is the throttle. You can see the local treetops. Because that's relevant. He's stealing our ship. Everything looks automatic. 
The panel is loaded with clusters of system status indicators. There's a power button and an altitude dial. He's stealing our An attitude dial? What the hell's that? <laughs> it changes his attitude. <laughs> and it <sends laughs> sassy to passive aggressive to angry to sad. <laughs> Hello, so we're Roger. Pilot, pilot, Welcome pilot to right now. Press. Yeah. Press the sassy button. Press power. Oh, I was going to say press the sassy button. But all right, but... Press power, sassy pretty. button. <laughs> What are you doing, Roger? <laughs> this is my shuttle. Get out of here, Roger, smiley face. Press power. Okay, then turn dial. Or, let's look at the dial so first. So now can you press the sassy button? <laughs> Hello, Roger. The attitude dial says throttle control to either BAC, vertical altitude, attitude control, or HAC, horizontal attitude control. Oh, so it's currently set to HAC. So turn dial. Amazing. The attitude dial is now set to VAC. And a push thruster button. Going up. The shell begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite. Yeah! It also so it makes develops so a very sense. passive aggressive attitude. I was gonna say it's really sad. It's like Marvin, dun, dun, the dun, medically dun, dun, like, dun, 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 You could have voiced the ship. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's go back down. We. I'm gonna save her first. I'm gonna call the ship uh, Marvin the manically de depressed spaceship. Uh. Okay. We let's go back down. Oops. Because you are terminally weak about the shoulders, you guide the ship into the ground. He crashed my ship. It's been a pleasure. A birthday present. Why did you crash me? Shut up, ship. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you kill? I still want to call you. You enjoy all the killing. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> no, I don't. I watched your face when you did it. This is the slowest ship ever. Da, 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 da. Well, well, fine. If you don't, you're off the planet. It all it's work, fall inside of you, <laughs> and you can take me into orbit. Leon, I think he just took off with our shuttle. Again. Took off with our shuttle again. This is the second time this has happened to us. A tone sounds. Soft synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude. Oh, it's altitude this time, is it? Mm -hmm. Has been achieved. Ascent thrusters are now ineffective. Monitor draws your attention again. Okay. We should have, we should have put theft insurance on this. One. So yeah. we're gonna turn dial again. Yeah. This is why you Let's always. Let's go. Put, this is why you always put theft insurance on the ship, Mike. Leon, I did. How was I supposed to know that crazy flipping gander would steal our shuttle again? Shut up, George. What, Mike? How was I supposed to know that that crazy janitor would steal our shuttle again? It doesn't matter. It might not necessarily be the janitor. It might be some other random loser who has to take our ship. Theft insurance. Okay. No, that that's that's Hello, Vahal. Roger, so no, wait, that's that's Vahal. Stop it. Yeah. So yeah, it's great. Hello, Roger. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyways, it looks like you'll soon be visiting me. Yeah, you'll be visiting me again soon. Sorry, boss. I'm not. <clears throat> Don't bother trying to pilot the vehicle. I have taken control. You will be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously await your arrival. He closes with a chilling laugh. Chilling laugh, brute. Do it. Okay, let's More now. chilling. The <laughs> image is frozen on the screen. The ship changes course as if it had a life of its own. All you can do is hang on. Look, window. Yeah, Leon. I think we're fired. Again. So does this mean I don't get my romance? Yes. We should open a bakery, like you said. You can see a variety of celestial bodies neatly placed in the cold black of space. I don't want to go. No. You know how to bake a cake? Almost stated. Nothing works. Great. You know how to bake well, a cake? You still, still got my Snickers. Cool. We should we should go open a bakery. Cry like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
You feel the ship bank. <clears throat> I know how to make a mean slice of mean loaf of bread. We can totally do a bakery. Yeah. There's the I'm sure we can find, like, pita bread somewhere on this planet. Totally. Or we could open a nightclub. We could have George be our bouncer. I don't think there's, like, a lot of nightlife here, though. Oh, we can Through the window, you see your apparent destination, Bohol's asteroid. You can go off planet. Don't yeah. limit yourself to this planet. We can go somewhere hey. with more people. How are we going to get off this planet without our shuttle? We're smart. We'll find a way. I have a shuttle we can use. Shut up, George. Oh, wait. George has a shuttle we can use. Okay. <laughs> see, we can get off this planet and start a nightclub. Rule Massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. Or you As you step home. down, the shuttle door slams shut behind you. You're quite surprised not to find several of Bohal's guards waiting to meet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientists might have in store for you. We could go back to Bohal and beg for our jobs back. Again, okay. he is on an asteroid. George has a shuttle! I have a shuttle. Fire. They're gonna just open, they're just gonna fire on sight. Then let's go open a nightclub right you now. You guys, whoa, you guys were designed to, to, design to watch him. I wasn't. I you was were standing on a suspended the platform trash. inside the cavernous vehicle bay, which has been carved out of the asteroid. There are walkways, le walkways lead off in almost in almost all directions. Watch your step. I also Whee! need to watch my tongue. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's a short step to the end of the game for you. You're no Buddy Edson. Who's that? I'm telling you, Mike. Me and you. Open a nightclub. We own it. Own the... Own the... Okay. Well, there go. was that big city a few miles away. Uh -huh. Make it an enterprise. Start one here. Leave. Go to another planet. We make up the money. Push. Another planet where we can Let's actually see. get the nightlife rolling. You are in a small capsule-shaped enclosure. Above the door is a digital readout, which reads a level one. And the only other feature is a rectangular panel. Look, panel. Please equip level one key card. The panel has a vertical row of four buttons. There's some small engraving at the bottom edge of the panel. Look, engraving. Okay. It's in view. You can see it, but you can't see it. Yeah. Push four. Welcome to the armory. Four. Oh. I have the funny feeling you're being watched. Look, camera. There's, the, there's a surveillance camera mounted on the ceiling. It looks to be quite basic. It appears to be pointing right at you. Wave. Camera. Oh. Snake, go up against the wall. The camera has a blind spot there. Before we open the nightclub, though, I want to see how this plays out. See if a Hulk can actually kill the janitor. Okay. Not that I have faith oh, in him. Might. He's not the commander. No. Nope. If the commander couldn't kill him, I don't think Vohal can. No way. I mean, the, the dude's wheelchair balance. Definitely not. He does have an arc. It's another one of those turbular, turbular halls. There are two doors. Open door. That uh, isn't how to do it. Push button. There we go. You have stepped into a porcelain palace of sorts. It is obviously a restroom, a place which, in an interesting fashion, serves to exhibit the physical diversity of the universe. <clears throat> the walls are covered in an easy-to-hose-down synthetic material. Attached to them is various locations. Attached to them in various locations are devices designed to efficiently collect waste products from the life forms, which are able to physically match up to them. On the back wall are stalls. Three of them are in use, judging by the various feet which show beneath the stall doors. To the left are sinks. Let's see, knock on door. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Go away. Go away. <laughs> There's squid words in there. The inside of the stall is a sight to behold. There is writing of various languages etched on the walls. The floor has an interesting coating of some type of concealed wreck. It appears that the toilet may have been white once. The excuse me. Toilet paper dispenser hangs on one wall. Yeah. Toilet 
toilet paper. Okay. Please. Okay. Have some Close. decency, man. Close the stall door. <laughs> okay. 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 You slide your uniform pants down and set a lock at the cool free. Uh. Thanks for this, Sierra. <laughs> you go through whatever emotions might be normal for you during this act. Refreshed, you grab your hands and compose yourself. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Flush? Oh, yeah. Oh, really oh God. Oh, Why? God. No one else has. I thought oh. it would be a nice attempt for that flotation device, Andy. And this is why I don't use the bathroom okay, that can't open work. Door. <laughs> Wash your head. Wash hands, please. <sighs> the faucets aren't operational. <laughs> Well, it didn't seem to be big on personal hygiene. I'm kinda glad we got fired, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I just now remember how bad those bathrooms are. We well, pretty good designer nightclub. nightclub, we're gonna have very pristine bathrooms. Yeah. Hand sanitizer all over the place. Every well, every tile has a has a hand sanitizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least try to wash your head here. All you gotta do. You is stepped say... into another bathroom. Congratulations. You gotta do is say hand sanitizer and get some right there. Is this the same thing? Probably. Yes, it is. Yeah. The walls are icky. Oh, okay. Both doors lead into the same room. Please don't relieve yourself again. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Push button. You're in another bathroom. Oh. Aha! You know a janitorial closet when you smell one. I mean, that one. Almost at once, you sense an emptiness, a melancholy longing. You begin to feel homesick. It's quite dark in here. On the floor, you know, it's a glass cutter. Get cutter. Okay. We need that. Wait, Leon. Do you think that Volhall just wants him to be a janitor? I mean, the bathrooms are pretty filthy. I think Leon wandered off, but... Oh, could be. Yeah, I guess Leon finally died. Oh well. Yeah. Yay! Three. Now the t two of us can can open up that up that bakery. Well, we don't need Leon. Speaking mm -hmm. of, Fanska, you're now the narrator. I have to go somewhere. Right. Oh, I'll be back oh. in a few minutes. Oh, so. I I need to be right back too. <laughs> so okay. hold on. <laughs> okay, then break time. All right, and we're back after a short Yo. break. <laughs> Everyone needed food. Okay. Yep. Pretty much. Did I save recently? I don't know. You should probably save. There we go. When in doubt, save. When in doubt, stop everything. Push the button. Push the button. Oh. I don't understand da. You do. It's another janitorial one. Lock. I don't say I don't understand lock. <laughs> oh, I dark in here. You do find a plunger, however. Get plunger. We need that. I, I read that as eat plunger. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. Eat plunger. Yeah. Eat plunger. Here we go. <gasps> Let's look outside. Not ever. I feel like you can see your billions and billions of stars. Okay. Nothing special, just lots and lots of stars. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Leon. Remember in hallways like this, we would try to ambush this this guy. Oh, you do. We could just like walk out and scare the crap out of him. I remember that one time he just blew him away. We didn't know he could like revive though, so we thought he was dead. Yeah, we just walked away like, oh, that loser's dead. We saw him again like 20 minutes later and we were super confused. Hello. Goodbye. And I was telling George, like, what if Bohal just wants him to be a janitor on his ship? That'd be funny. Uh, yeah. No uh, break uh, 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 makes sense because the bathrooms don't work. We, we, we seriously need a janitor on the ship. <laughs> it's just one of the many tube like sections of this custom asteroid. I was just wondering what those were. Nothing. Oh, absolutely everything. nothing. 
push button. Push the baby. Look. It's quite dark in here. There is a small waste basket. On the floor next to it is a pair of crusty work overalls. Waste basket. Overalls. <clears throat> Are you amazed at how much stuff an adventure game hero can carry? You've just got to know how to pack. And get overalls. Pick up the overalls. They are very small and quite worn out, not to mention filthy and of no use to you. You toss them back on the floor. As you set them down, something falls to the floor. Look at the floor. You see some filthy overalls in the lighter. Get lighter. Okay. okay. Now you have three options. Press button, button, or button. Do, 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 do. Ow. Yay, button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you feel alarmingly dense. Ow. <laughs> Apparently, you were a prime focal point for some aggression channeling by one of the cage creatures. Your compressed comp composition indicates that your attacker possesses considerable strength, a good, do a good guy to avoid in the future. Aw. Of course, you are not damaged beyond repair, and the game must end. You've made quite a bit of progress, though. Don't start screwing up now. <clears throat> Restore! Okay, so let's just stay away from that. There's another thing I want to show off. Forever. <gasps> Hello! Oh no, one of the cells is opening. Who knows what unspeakable horror awaits behind those steel bars? Ah, no. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Run! It's a xenomorph! Hug! Hug! Smack! 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 Oh, yuck. Dark and spiny beast with massive red lips grabs you up, grabs you up and after a longing glance, Proceeds, don't read further, the phrase French kiss bothers you. And a very moist French kiss on you. You are, cl le you are less quite stunned. Bye. Is what I think so happen, it's happen? a French prostitute in alien form? It's, yes. It's a French yeah. prostitute in xenomorph form. Yeah, I'm not sure how long it takes, but um, if you try to progress and win the game now, an uh, alien will burst out of your chest. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me let me save it here. Maybe I can show it off later. As Alien a video, yeah, baby. It, yeah. Cause um, yeah, we don't want to get to the end of the game, and then it'll be like, oh, never mind. Yep, never mind. Yeah. Remember uh, way back about an hour ago when the alien kissed us? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's when we died. So, yeah. That would piss me off. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, well, I'll show that off at the end of the LP. So, let's see, push. What do I want to talk about? One. Mike's taking a nap. <laughs> Mike's taking a nap. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Mike's okay. taking a nap. Come on, Mike. I'm supposed to take a nap right now. Save. Yeah, what? What happened to my Snickers? Oh, oh well, me and George ate them because you were taking a nap. <laughs> they were my That's Snickers. Right. Don't take a nap then. They were your Snickers. There are they were no they were our stickers too and then we ate them. Yeah. The door behind you closes solemnly. Hmm. <clears throat> you reloaded the save yeah, before you got before kissed you. by the alien, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh. Another barrier stands in your way. Oh. You feel the floor shift below you. It's moving to the left. You gon' die. You gon' die. You oh, gon' die. What's die. happening? Oh, no. Look, floor. The floor is moving. Beneath it, beneath it is what you guess to be a pool of highly lethal liquid. Let's go swimming! I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using humus for for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly 
slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. Okay. Let's try this again. I think I'm gonna get a quesadilla. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. What? Stick plunger on wall. <clears throat> Stick. 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 Just gotta wait for it. Because if you do it too soon, it'll lose suction and you'll fall to your death. Using formerly uncharacteristic creativity, you apply the suction cup like plunger to the smooth metal finish and hang on for dear life. Once a janitor, always a janitor. I'll be right back again. Okay. Okay, we live. Let Yay. go. For now. You release your grip and drop back down. And I'm pretty sure we don't have the plunger anymore. Nope. Goodbye, plunger. Does that make sense? You sold us well. Yeah, you served us well, Great Plunger. Yeah. Alright. Just making sure I'm doing this right. Alright, let's go this way. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Hi. Look. Hi! This the corridor is lined with wall bots. There is a door to the right. Ah, hi. The game doesn't understand hi. <laughs> You've made the mistake of getting within that, what looks to be a cattle prod length of the Metal Menace. An electrical contact connected to the extension arm reaches from its body and makes contact with you. That's when you begin feeling the intense burst of electrical current pulsating, pulsating through your body. You quickly black out. Yum. Well, that's supposed to happen. Oof. <laughs> As you can see, you amount to little more than a hill of laser fried beans. Mm. You've come a long way only to be torched. Keep up the fine work. Mm, beans. Mm, space beans. Mm, space. Okay. So, we want to put down basket. The basket. Uh, excuse me. What? Inconceivable. Unpossible. Oh, put Un paper in Impossilot. basket. Okay, put down basket. <clears throat> Light basket on fire. 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 So why did you do that? Oh, duh. While receiving a nice hosing yourself, the basket fire is extinguished. Seconds later, a loud series of pots is followed by the smell of fried electronics. And then when we go... oh. <clears throat> the sprinklers sense accomplishment and cease operation. Now when we go this way... You punch the baby. You let out all the magic smoke. Your fire in the subsequent shower seems to have shorted out the bur burnished bullies. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh. You have just entered Bohol's secret chamber. The evil one himself is seated before a large console high on the platform in the center of the room. Standing obliviously ready at are many of the dreaded salesmen clone. Mentioned something? I uh, he maybe <laughs> he did mention. I'll get a quesadilla. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> um. Oh, that ball. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Roger Smiley Face, we meet again. I must say, I'm quite impressed with your resourcefulness and tenacity. I'd love to chat, but I'm busy preparing the last of my salesmen clones for their trip to Xenon. Had to put my order in. Feel free to stick around and observe the downfall of your civilization. Ha ha ha. 
an eerie glow illuminates the large chamber. Through the massive window, you can see out to the deep space. Lighted consoles adorn the area behind Vohal's perch. Vohal awaits at the top of the stairway. <laughs> he doesn't appear to be in a talking mood. Burp. Hug Vohal. Aw. Oh. Vohal knows not what hugs are. Hello. Hello. Yo. Going somewhere? Ha ha ha. As soon as you step on the platform, you are struck by a beam of light emitted from a unit in the ceiling. In a matter of seconds, you are broken down into microparticles and extracted from the air. No! Poppy. Again, the beam strikes, this time blasting into a glass jar on the console. It is there that you are molecularly reconstructed in a, miniature, in a miniaturized form. Oh, is that? That's full. <clears throat> well, I'll be darned. My miniaturization beam does work. Full Hall's voice booms. In the old days, I tested these things on myself. But as you may have noticed by my appearance, being my own guinea pig has had its disadvantages. I guess this will not keep you out of my way once and for all. Oh wait, I read that wrong. <clears throat> I guess this will keep you out of my way once and for all. You'll make a nice conversation piece. With that, Volhall turns away to put it, to put finishing touches on Xenon's fate. Volhall read the script wrong. <laughs> you are trapped in the glass jar, sitting on the surface of Volhall's control console. I'm gonna use the glass cutter. And then he starts listening to all the single ladies and dancing. The, new, the newly cut painted blast falls to the counter. Apparently, Volhall doesn't notice. He's too busy listening to that song. What? <laughs> <laughs> you now know for a fact that less weight does not equal less pain at the onset of deceleration trauma. You've come so far, far only to die in a dumb way. What a geek. Okay. And Valhalla is still just there singing. As you turn your attention to the vent, you notice it to be quite dark. You hear a rhythmic hum of some sort, a mechanical device, and something that sounds like industrial strength breathing. It might be coming from the vent. Enter vent. You wiggle your slim carcass to the vent. Judging from those two hoses coming in from outside, you guess that this is the inner workings of Volhall's life support system. A respirator pumps oxygen into his lungs while a pump on the back wall forces blood through filters. Oh. There's also a sign on the back wall. Look, sign. The sign says caution. Press button for emergency shutoff. Oh. Let's press the button then. Yeah. Ha ha. Way to go, Roger. You've just dis disconnected Volhall's life support system. He's a goner without it. Leave event? There we go. You can see Volhall struggling to take his last few breaths. Is that? Oh, that's my look. <clears throat> he, so he's dying, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not you again! You think you have won. He wheezes. But all you have done is to seal your own fate. He reaches up and, and flips a switch on the far end of the console before dropping to the floor, dead. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Look, computer. Look, monitor. There they are. What you see is... Let's just... Let's go over here. Use lever. Pull lever? There we go. Reduce or enlarge. Reduce. Actually, no. 
Save. Yeah. <laughs> now, reduce. Type, reduce. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go! Wait, 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 wait. Let's go! Da, 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 da. Totally not gonna die. By already being in a miniaturized form and setting the beam to reduce, you are now too small to exist. That wasn't too swift on your part. Too bad. Okay, type enlarge. Blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. Sequence has begun. Sequence begun. Please insert beam now. Please insert further. Please construct additional pylons. <laughs> we need more pylons. You are once again reconstituted, this time to the correct size. You notice that the clones are gone. Okay, let's look at Volhall. Volhall. Volhall's dead hulking slab of flesh is loosely arranged at the base of the chair. We search him? Poke with stick? Search. I don't understand both wall. There we go. An examination of his repulsively turgid fabric encased mask reveal reveals nothing other than the tubes which supplied him with blood and oxygen. You do notice the letters SHSR written in pen on the back of his left hand. Okay. So that was my homework, you fools. General status. Orbit decaying. Prog prognosis. Terminal. Interior environment. Okay. External temperature. Critical. Auxiliary operations. Cl clone launch. Go. Launch con countdown. To abort launch. Enter code below. SHSR. Yay! Hey. We abort. win! Abort granted. Have a nice day. Okay. Take that! I rule! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Well, I'm sure you found one more way to snatch humiliation from the jars, jaws of heroism. Mike, did you see that? I, uh, I did. Four he, feet. I can survive that backwards. He killed the boss and then still died. And then well, he came back to life. I get to Oops. fall like that with a knife in my back. Did it again? Oh my god! Yeah. Maybe I can um use the number Maybe. pad key here. Nope. Yes. Bend this guy. Hey. Maybe not. Turn uh... numlock on. You tried going backwards and turning your speed oh. down slow. Now it worked. <laughs> Might I suggest turning the num like the game speed to slow? Yeah. Hello. Walking. You can slow down time, Mike. My God. No wonder there we go. this guy. No. No wonder we we can't beat this guy. He just manipulates time as he sees fit. Okay. No. We gonna... tried to tell you, but you didn't listen. Fast. Okay. So we're gonna look. You are walking through a clear, turbular passageway, which seems to wind in and out along the outer perimeter of the asteroid. There's a box, man, on the west end of this tube. Look, box. The box is actually an oxygen mask receptacle. It is currently closed. Open box. You open the boss box and, noticing an oxygen mask, remove it and close the box. Okay. Naturally, without it, you should. Okay. Yeah. Inventory. Okay. Yeah, wait. So now we're gonna just we're just gonna go. <laughs> Who needs an oxygen mask, yeah, right? We don't need it. I mean What's just oxygen? Air. We're fine in this tube. I mean it's only What's made of glass oxygen? and Huh? What's even oxygen? I'm gonna save it right here. We live Forty minutes until meltdown. A, synth a synthesized voice cheerfully announces. Well, it's cheerfully. Like, 40 minutes until meltdown. Have a nice day. Whee! <laughs> Everyone Six, is what now dead. 
Oh. Uh-oh. A section of the glass tubing has fractured from combined stress. The, pressures, the pressurized atmosphere rushes from the relative vacuum of space. Dead. Due to the effect of the air rushing by you to get out of the hole, the air in your lungs is sucked out and you find it impossible to get more. And you struggle but die. You only had 200, 230 points anyway. No big loss. <laughs> Leon has 231. Okay, so we're going to wear... Yeah, yeah. Wear a mask. There we go. Now we should be safe. We. Pizza? I think we've already had this one, so. Fortunately, wearing the mask protects you from suffocation. We're fine. We Yay! Fine. Okay. No longer ne needing the mask, you remove it and sew it for later. Now, the most annoying part of the game. Is this the thing I think it is? Okay. <laughs> this part is funny to watch the people do. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna save again. Sigh. <laughs> okay, Bam. push button. Pretty sure that's what push you have to the do. Baby. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's the end of this. And you guys can't hear it, but the alarm's going. It's like bleh, 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 bleh. They're both of the. Uh, no. Ah. Oh. Push button. Imperials have entered the base. Imperials have entered the base. Okay, here we go. Imperials have entered the base. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the robot has apparently decided that is that it is permissible for you to by be here since you were in the pot already. I got it on the first try. <laughs> High five for the air. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we live. I should show off what he does though, um No, don't don't worry. <laughs> you don't wanna you don't wanna see the death? Do it you can show I do. Later, yeah, deaths are always good and besides the third just saved it. But she got it on her hand. Sorry. Yeah, she got it on the first try, which is always good. Hi! I am Ed209. <laughs> oh my god! Any curiosity you may have harbored regarding the menacing metallic pest will now be satisfied as you have drawn too close. Your attention is attracted to a decal on the front of the machine. It says the Bohol Maromatic. This rouses your curiosity. Suddenly, you note that each and every bone in your body feels as though it has been transformed into molten matter. Never so to catch on, you notice that you are cooking from the inside out. Now this is pain that lingers. Every drop of moisture in, is purged from your system by the intense heat of the internal barbecue. Your dehydrated composition makes it impossible to continue. And you're in the left next time, Roger. Smiley face. Yeah, it goes back. Good, Roger. Good. Okay. Go back, yeah, we go back to we live. We live. We're gonna look. You are seated inside one of the emergency escape vehicles. Before you lies a control panel and a viewport. Look, viewport. Oh. Upon entering the escape pod, you quickly take your seat. Nice continuity there. I don't oh. understand viewpoint. Look, viewport. There we go. Mike, he's getting away again. Through the he's viewport, again. you can see portions of the asteroid breaking up from the intense heat due to the orbital de decay. It's only a matter of time before you burn up with it. Leon, quit interrupting me when I'm reading the script. No! Look, he's getting away again! He's gonna win again! I know! That's why I'm reading the script. Jeez, the only asking feature on the panel is a clearly marked launch button. Push button. If I'm reading the script, I'll know where he goes, Leon. 
We did not go on after it. We decided to open a nightclub. I'm done with this janitor. He can do whatever he wants. I'm gonna open a nightclub. Morning. Emergency escape vehicle launch sequence having on. Beep, boop, beep. Cheese. Cheese. He can do whatever he wants. The nightclub Eight, is my future. Seven, six, six five, five, four, three, three, three two, 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 seven, two, one, one <laughs> zero. Just zero. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Phew, you're going to have to stop cutting those escapes so close, Roger. Smiley Faith. Well, you must feel pretty good right now. He stopped Will Hall from carrying out his threat of salesman infestation, ultimately destroying the twisted scientist himself. You also managed to save your own skin, and just look at that score. Pretty darn impressive. Yay. Oh. Suddenly, a warning signal draws your attention to the oxygen meter on the front panel. It, re it reads low and dropping fast. Of course. Naturally. This is just great. You knew it was all too good to be true. You have, maybe, five minutes of air left. Well, Roger, it was nice knowing you. Is he finally gonna die? There we go. Well, still got the mask, so... Oh, oh yeah, we got the ox oxygen mask, so... Wear yeah. mask. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, as you begin to put it on, you notice that the the tank is empty. Sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> now you take the time to view the interior of the pod in more detail. You see a sleep chamber against one wall. Look. Chamber. Uh, Look. Sleep chamber. The chamber is a bed of sorts, enclosed in a large plexiglass cylinder. The occupant of such a chamber would be placed in suspended anim animation kept alive for an indefinite period of time. Let's see, uh, push button? That is not Open helping, no. sleep chamber. There we go. You turn back the plexiglass cover. Enter sleep chamber. And it will be like that, the end of that one movie. You make the split-second decision to enter the sleep chamber. It seals automatically. Soon you are overcome by a pleasant drowsiness. This is certainly better than suffocating. You begin to just drift away into a deep sleep with the satisfaction of having accomplished your task. You've come through in the clutch and you deserve a nice long rest. Now someone will just pick you up somewhere along the way. So long, Roger, and thanks, for, thanks again for saving your people. And I got max points! Yay! Yay. So yeah. we can go and blow up the chamber now. So He's what? asleep. The Mike, end! George. Mike? George? For now! Let's go well, open... Let's go open that nightclub right now. Alright. First, go. let's go and get the chamber and, like, lock it in our basement. No, no, no. We're no. done with him! We're going to the nightclub. Screw the janitor. Him. He's going to keep coming back no, 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 and no, no, no. he's going to show up and foil our nightclub. We're moving on with our life, George. Get over it, we're going to the nightclub now. Oh. We're gonna open that. He's gonna show up and destroy the nightclub. No, he won't. He's in yes, the- Yes, he will! Shut up, George. The janitor has destroyed our stuff twice. If we he's go- targeting us specifically. If we if we go find him, he's just gonna end up waking up anyway, and then he's gonna ruin our days. We're going to I the. I say we fire the the, the chamber. You go do whatever you hole. want. Me and him are gonna open the nightclub. Right, you okay. Take, okay. Okay. take go fancy hovercraft. We'll be We're going fine. To the <laughs> All right. So there's no credits or anything, but I do want to show off. I want to show off the alien thing. And something else, real quick. Can I restart? And that restart. Is Making Leon's story for the second game. Yep. Yep. I went to open the nightclub and let George do whatever he wants. He'd probably die. But there is a little bonus right here. As soon as he's done sleeping, sleeping, not sleeping. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Bye, broom. Swoop. Swooping is bad. No swooping. Okay. So we're gonna win this game, the the best way ever. We're gonna cheat. Yeah. <laughs> two hundred fifty-five out of two hundred fifty. Congratulations. You're the most bitchin' adventure <laughs> in the world. No, make that mean the entire universe. While all those other silly saps struggle and toil through puzzle after puzzle, you have found a way to cheat yourself to the end. Is America great or what? <laughs> that was the greatest.
greatest ending. <laughs> best That's ending genius. ever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Roger got away from now. Uh, Mike and Neon opened a nightclub and George wanted to go get himself killed. Good ending. Uh, alien it's baby. Space Quest 3, we're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna be back at it again. Okay. Yeah. The nightclub will have failed. We'll be wherever. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait right here. <clears throat> this looks like a good spot to wait. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how long it'll take, so... <sighs> do, 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 do. Three hours later. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. KOS. You're so you are racked by excruciatingly violent pain. Feels like your body is trying to turn inside out. Hint, it is. Oof. Okay. After getting freedom from its flesh fortress, the old, odd little alien runs away, leaving you lying on the floor, like a used oversized placenta. A darn tough yet unique way to go. That should teach you not to be sucking face with alien beings in the future. Aw, but that's what I do in my spare time. Okay. That's Leon, it. <laughs> Leon, nobody cares about how many alien babes you've French kissed, okay? My diary does. Okay. Not Captain Kirk. No one cares. Well, that's it. Let's just go so, over this nightclub. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this co-op. See you for the next game, right? Yeah, Space three. Quest 3. Quest yeah. so for more money. Yep. To, to air as human. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.